had on some But yes, I, yes, I still got on this same sweatshirt. I just put this sweatshirt back on. I want these eggs. Lunchables. Yes. Extra red These are cowgirl boots. I got on the boots. I had to go to the office today. Oh my God, I have not been to the office in so long. I just, just bring it. I got it. It's secure. I'm not even going to take it. It took me an hour and 40 minutes to get home. Y'all know the vibes come in clutch. Black crop top, black tights, blazer, sharp blue. The scent for tonight is Baccarat, baby. I feel like I failed as a mother, especially with my older two in particular. Um, and some of the choices that my adult children are making in their life right now, I feel that um, it's indicative of some of the things that I allow them to see as a parent or it's my kids i've actually seen me draw across the floor by my hair but naked and i remember what's up e gang it's your girl ebony elbow back to you with another Whoa. What's up, E Gang? It's your girl, Ebony Elbow, back to you with another Bliggity Vlog. If you're new here, girl, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, baby, because you're gonna like it. And welcome back to my old G's. So, y'all, it is Sunday. Y'all, sorry about the dog. The dog on the back porch, and they keep barking. So, I got on this little get up. I got on some little black thigh high. They're supposed to be thigh high, child. Thigh high boots. And we about to do a little Sunday fun day. I told y'all my husband been working seven days a week. And he, we ain't been able to do nothing. Plus we was doing dry February. So I told him to go warm up the car. I got a whole day. I won't say a whole day, but I got some stuff planned for him. So right now, we about to go get some a couple's massage. He don't know where we going. And um, I just told him to get dressed. We about to go get a couple's massage. And um, then we're going to go to um, brunch. And then we finally gonna go see the Bob Marley movie. Then we got this house we gotta go look at. So yeah, like, I don't know. I just got a little stuff up my sleeve. So yeah, um, let me go into the car cause he gonna be wondering what I'm doing. So let me go into the car. He not gonna see where we going till we get there. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to drive cause if he drive, yeah, I'm gonna have to tell him. So yeah, but anyway, yeah, I just got on this little sweater dress. It comes with like a little, um, turtleneck little i don't know whatever but anyway let's go but i gotta stand on me next to no matter what gotta make your next move your best i gotta pay you back for that one i'm gonna pay you back for that one we on the only time we'll be the case we pull out camera phone i use the phone i had to teach the grown niggas right from okay so we just got here i don't know if he was surprised i don't know if what, what, what? Yeah, I was surprised. I need one. <laughs> That's why I told him I got it for you because you've been working seven days a week. Mm -hmm. You ready? It's just the first stop. What is all that back there? Darn. They got a bunch of junk in the back seat. Yeah, this the first stop. Come on, babe, because we got an 11 o'clock appointment. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, uh oh, notice. We just came out. Baby, how did you enjoy yourself? Um, you loved it. Needed. it was, you needed it. They was like actually walking on Boo. I was at when we got in, I seen like they had poles at the top. I was like, what? That's for? I'm so dumb. Boo talking about to walk on your back. I was like, oh, they was walking on him. But they gave him an ugly lady. <laughs> <laughs> she was ugly. Thought it was a dude. I would have flip out. <laughs> I see him look back. I said, oh, here we go. <laughs> she was not cute. They should they could have gave him somebody cute now. 
But anyway, we about to head to the next stop. <sighs> so yeah, I'll see y'all when we get there. Okay, y'all, so I gave Boo the option between Hibachi and First Watch. So he chose Hibachi, so we're here. He's enjoying your soup. You like it? Love it. <laughs> This is his first time actually eating the soup. I told him it's good. When he finally tries stuff and listen to me, he like it. So I have me a martini. Well, a lemon drop. Yeah. Just enjoying our day. Oh, hey. Ebony elbow, baby. Oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. Miss B Duncan. What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> hey now. Yo, love, love, love. Thank y'all. Look at little dress, child. Look at little dress. Oh, wow. I'm back, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we just left the restaurant. Y'all see, we done switch spots because <laughs> I am tips. Babe, we got to go to Dollar General. I mean, Dollar Tree. Yeah, Baby, I go to Home Depot, too. You think I can make it in there? Baby, I am tipsy. Where is that? Which one? You was bad that way. And this little dress so short, baby. Boo got to keep covering me. I'm probably going to go home and change clothes because I ain't trying my husband like that. But... Um, Y'all already did. Yeah. Y'all, I swear to God, I, asked, I, I swear to God, he told me to wear it. Why are you lying to the people? He told me to wear it. Oh, and he told me I look good. Babe, I swear to God, I asked you before we left and the I house. I told you when you first put it on, too. What you said? Your hand can't bend over. You said my ass I was hanging out? You can't get out the car without your ass showing. Oh, he did say that. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, he did say that. But you said wear it. If it's too hard, you don't got nothing else to wear. Come on, man. I know you like a book. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even sitting in the bait with you. In. On, with man. a closet full of clothes, I'm going to say I ain't got nothing else to wear. I really can't since I gained 14 pounds. Boo know I gained 14 pounds. He ain't going to say it. Because he don't want to. That's my phone. He don't want to hurt my feelings, but he know I gained weight. But that's okay. Because we're working out. And we're going to be we're gonna be back fine by April. Yeah, we fine now, but we're going to be finer by April. So yeah, am I even recording? Yes, yeah, recording. I'm so tipsy. We gotta go on Dollar Tree and get. We wanna finally do the s'mores with the kids tonight. The kids tonight and y'all. The neighbors came in my damn house. I'm too nice. They just ate them. Ate the damn Hershey's Kisses that go with the s'mores. They just ate it. They just came. The little girl just walked in my door. Then knock. Huh? little brother. They just ate it. But that's okay. And we need to look, babe. We need to look at the Easter stuff for um Jewel and um Cam. You think Katie want to get the basket? We're going to do all that now. What is right here? We turned our date into a, to a shop. Yeah, party. it's supposed to be our day. I don't know. You think Fat Man want the basket? Uh, Y'all seen the, the Easter basket I made for my stepson last year? I put uh, like a Versace set in it. But this year, I think he just too big. Maybe we'll just do like a gift card or something. What you think? Boost tired and sleepy. The people want to know why when we was on the live, you was outside. The people want to know. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Dollar Tree. All they got is the little ones. They don't have the bars. We need about five of those. No, you put two on each thing. So how many do you think we need? You got many. You got number three. Four. Right, it's a little while later. We just... <laughs> the whole plan's done changed. Oh. <laughs> Y'all see the kids in the back now. We had to run a little errands. We just left um, Publix. Ran some errands, just left Publix. Publix got their Arm & Hammer on sale. Buy one, get one, BOGO. And it's a Fetch Rewards, 900 points on that. So, yeah. My Fetch Rewards link will be downloaded. No collab. Just, yeah. Y'all see my energy is loaded. I'm tired. So, we missed the movie. Again, we didn't this, miss the movie at five o'clock. How we miss it? Again? Oh yeah, well we changed it. We was supposed to go at two twenty. We changed it to five. It's three forty six right now. But baby, I guarantee you, once we get in, because we gotta drive the kids back off home. Once we get in this house, and we finna watch Love Is Blind. No, we're going to movies. We're going to the movies. Okay, boo said we're going to the movies. I need to drink me one of these Prime Energy drinks. I need to drink me one. 
All right, y'all. So we are really about to go to the movies. It's five o'clock, but we live around the corner for the movies. We can walk. I changed clothes. I just put on this Atlanta sweatshirt, some um tights, and these oh, okay. Doc Martens so I could be a little more comfortable. Try these turn got my house, my car, everything a mess, but y'all gonna straighten up when we come back. So anyway, let's head on out to the movies. We really finna go. Okay, y'all, we back at the house. The movie was good. I just didn't. I told Boo I didn't like how I feel like they didn't cover everything. Like, just based off the stuff that Boo done taught me, there's a lot of stuff that went in, in the movie to me. So, yeah, it was good. Babe, what you rate the movie? Even though this is your second time seeing it, what you rate it? Yeah. Y'all, I think I'm about to come. Wait, what is it called, babe? I'm about to convert to. Okay, what's the writing? <laughs> I be messing up. I'm trying to learn because I, they say you're supposed to follow your husband. So it's going to be real hard for me not to eat pork. Who don't eat pork? He don't drink. What else you don't do? Child, that's going to be hard for me. But I'm really, I'm really trying to learn. It was like kind of, it was like a good experience seeing the movie because as I'm watching the movie, I'm like realizing a lot of stuff that Boo had was trying to teach me. Like stuff I was seeing, stuff they were saying that Boo say, And then like he tried to teach me about, what is it? Hell Celestia. How you say it, babe? Hell Celestia. Okay, I can't say it, but the Ethiopian, he, be, he been taught me about that. And um, this different child, it wasn't no song in that, in that they song in that movie that Boo didn't know word for word. It wasn't no word they said that Boo didn't know word for word from the what they be saying. Uh, I <laughs> rock stop. Whatever they be saying, rock stop. I ain't gonna say whatever because I don't want to disrespect the culture or the religion rather. But yeah, I'm gonna try to convert. I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. Y'all know I was trying to go drink. I had perm my hair, but the perm ain't really take, so I think I can still, I think about four more months I can do it. I'm going to try. It was like, it was like really good learning about, like getting, even though Boo Ben taught me this stuff, it was like good, like, I can't explain it, like seeing it and the stuff he taught me, then seeing it, like them doing it on TV and stuff, but I'm going to try. Me and Boo just had a long talk about it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. And for the lady who came on my page talk about blue dreads. You see, no, none of them rosters. They don't groom their dreads, baby. They don't twist them. It's just, it's, it's, it's wicked. It is what it is. Yeah. Boo don't, like what it's called? Like a tree. Like a tree. Okay, so Boo was trying to teach me that the dreads is for lioness. Cause the, the like the lion's mane, so that's why you see some of them they wrap them around their neck and stuff. Cause you know that's the baddest thing in the jungle. I don't know. Some stuff I don't learn. Some stuff is coming back, baby. It's so y'all. They go to church on Saturdays, Saturdays, and I don't know. It's a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna try. Boo don't believe me, but I'm gonna try. I love pork. I love alcohol. But I'm gonna try. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, I was telling y'all that they had this um on Bogo at um Publix. This is the 105 foot 100.5 fluid ounce. So y'all, when I did my fetch rewards and then teach y'all this, and I'm sure somebody know, but they got a special on Army Helmet, and the special did not ring up. So you can go to the you can go to find that special on the fetch rewards and click it and say receipt correction and it'll let you actually scan the barcode and then it'll give you your points so i need to do that and i'm about to do cam homework with him i'm about to drink some tea i think i want a big glass of tea not tonight babe. i ain't feeling i ain't feeling good and we want me to go to the emergency room but i don't be liking to go to the emergency room i don't be wanting to hold on people that money so I'm about to go. Babe, I ain't going. And you gotta go to work at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm about to drink this tea. I had one of tea. Oh. So, y'all, I already did my colon broom this morning. So, I'm doing detox. 
detox tea. I'm gonna do this elderberry. Um, I'm talking about elderberry. This, yeah, this elderberry hibiscus. This elderberry hibiscus. This tea tastes and smell so good, y'all. This hibiscus. Okay, baby, put it in there. It smells so good, y'all. So 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 good. We still got good time, and me and Boo done started doing the buildings on like finishing all the buildings on Saturdays. So Sundays we have nothing to do, and it's still early. We done had a good day. It's still early. We about to go. Lay up and watch, finish watching Love is Blind after I get up. I know I'm doing four. <laughs> let it speak for it. Hey! I'm going to let it speak for a while. Go get your crayons. Anyway, all right, they finna start acting ratchet. Let me do camp homework with him. All right, y'all, I'm going to call it a night. I don't know if I'm going to end this vlog or take y'all with me in the morning. I don't know. I think I'm going to start another one. In, not start another one. Babe, y'all. I can't vlog with them home. They just, they see me vlogging and they still be talking loud. Y'all see me. But um, I think I'm going to just go ahead and keep recording tomorrow because I think this vlog was kind of short because I really didn't. I, I forgot to even film the movie, any other movie. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep the vlog going. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's up, E-Gang? It is the next day. Today is um, Monday. So, yes, I, yes, I still got on this same sweatshirt. I just put this sweatshirt back on. Y'all want me to lie to y'all? Yes, I did. I very much did. Only wore it to the movies, and Boo just called me. He had turkey. He was like, come on up here. Let's get some groceries. So, because we were trying to figure out what we're going to eat tonight. So, he want me to meet him up here real quick. And I want to grab a couple of things. I know I always go to Target. I know. It's, it's my happy place. But, yeah, I am tired, y'all. I've been in my robe all day. So, I just threw this back on. But, I've been getting stuff done. Um, That video, finally, I finally got it to upload, y'all. That video, the giveaway video, I had been trying to get that video to load for the longest. So, by the time y'all see this video, I will already have the winners and they already be sent their uh, gifts. But, it was it was a mess. But, y'all finally got it. So, yeah. Um, Today's been, like I said, today's been very productive. I had a lot of um brand deal stuff I had to do. I had a lot of work for my job to do. Um, I had a lot of st editing to do, just trying to stay on track, keep things copacetic. I need to, I'm trying to figure out, do I, do I have the energy? I done did so much today. I'm kind of tired. I'm trying to figure out, do I have the energy to do my hair tonight? Because y'all know, if you watch my last vlog, I got my bob hair. I need to do my bob because I am going to my cousin's bachelorette party tomorrow. So I'm trying to figure out, do I want to do it tonight or in the morning? I kind of don't feel like doing it tonight because I got to dye my, wash my hair, dye it, and I just don't feel like all that. Um, so yeah. And, what else? I don't have a building tonight. Y'all know I gave up a building, which would have had me working tonight, so yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to come say, hey, it's a new day, and I guess I'll see y'all when I get in Target. We can't decide on lettuce. We're going back and forth. What about lettuce? I want to make me too big. He want iceberg lettuce. I told him it has no nutritional value. But you can eat what you want. Yeah, it might be. It ain't going to be enough. You want a salad? Yeah, I'm getting what's called. Iceberg. Iceberg. I want a nice seasoned salad. Get both of you. Oh, my God. Don't get you stuff like this. Okay, this Caesar dressing is. 50 calories. So we're gonna try this. Then we got some oranges also for the kids. about two days for you. Yeah, I'm gonna get some chicken breast for the mine. Okay, we grab a few lunchables as well. Okay, we got cheese, eggs, lunchables. We got one, two, three, four, five. More cheese for the salad. Some sliced turkey meat for boo. Season salad packs. I don't know what these is. Hot buffalo wing. Chips for boo. Huh? Ain't no boo. Oh, for my he hate when I call him boo. For my husband. Um, 
boom chicka pop for me. It's oranges for the kids. This is the tricky breast we're gonna eat tonight with the salads. Um creamy Caesar and bird. What is the iceberg lettuce? And what was the total, babe? I think it was like how much was it? Eighty-five dollars for that. Is that all we got? Yeah, that's it. Y'all, my outfit that I was going to wear, it did not turn out right. Hope y'all can see me, but I'm going to, um, to the bachelorette party. These are cowgirl boots. I got them with boots. But my shirt and my boots, I was going to turn out right. But these actually more of a cowgirl boot than the other ones. Can y'all see? So, I don't know. It's almost over. But I'm, I'm going to show my face and my support. I'll probably be there for like 30 minutes, but yeah. At least I'm coming. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> e game. I just had to come in real quick, y'all. I had to go to the office today. Oh my God, I have not been to the office in so long. I just got here. It took me 55 minutes to get here from my GPS from where I live to where our um, office is. Like I have not been in the office in like three or four years. So yeah, I'm about to go in here. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sick. I'm like three minutes late, but I feel like they go, everybody gonna be doing stuff. It's not gonna start exactly at 8.30. But anyway, y'all, I'll cry out. See ya. The see ya. Did see? It's just too much going on. Bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. I am off work. It actually wasn't that bad, and they let us out a little early. It's four oh six. My job is right across the street from Nordstrom, so I ordered my friend a gift. I have to go to them. I told y'all I gotta go to her party tonight, so I gotta rush home, change, do something with his head. Y'all, ha I have not had time to put me in a old nasty bob. I've been going, going, going. So I got to try to do something with this, but I just notified them that I'm in my parking spot. And yeah, I'm just in number one, waiting for them to come out. And yeah, then I can, um, I can, um, child, I be trying to see, child, they got so much stuff in my back seat. Yeah, then I can head home. Nordstrom take a long time. Every time you do it on the app, you have to, call, let me refresh. You have to call them. And be like, hey, I check. Oh, never mind. It say, Valia is getting my order ready and she finna come outside. Okay, Valia. She finna come outside. So, yeah, I'm gonna get this. Boo say, um, he on the way home too from work. But I don't know what. Whichever one that gets to that side of town the fastest to get Cam. Babe, I ain't used to this. I can't go back in the office. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm not used to this. No, ma'am. No ham. No pam. No turkey. I'm trying to beat the 5 o'clock traffic. So, Valil need to come on out of here. It's 407 now. I need to get the way I'm getting. Because the way I live, baby, that traffic trying to get there. That traffic be horrible. But, yeah. I think I see her coming out. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. She just brought it. I got it. It's secured. I'm not even going to take it out the bag. Um, I mean, out the car. I'm going to leave it in the car. Yeah. And we headed to the party. I mean, not to the party. We headed home to get changed for the party. Y'all, I just put my address in the GPS and it say I'm going to get home in one. Baby, it's screen up. Baby, I'm sick of this wig. It says I'm going to get home in one hour. In one minute. That's how far I live. And you think I would be coming to the office? Baby, if I had to come back to the office, I would quit. Quit. Quit.
y'all y'all will not believe i'm gonna show you because look what time it is 5 47 i just got to my side i'm at target i need to run at target and get me a white you know how I rock target had on right crop tops because i don't i don't know where mine at i don't feel like looking for it i gotta get to the party in an hour 547 it took me an hour and 40 minutes to get home i will never go back to the office if i cannot believe it, it took me an hour and 40 minutes to get home let's go and target y'all know the vibes come in clutch every time five dollars okay e gang i'm dressed so this is the vision so white crop top black tights blazer sharp boots everything old but the top the scent for tonight is baccarat baby this right here i'm really spraying too much because if you know you know baby baccarat that is definitely something you can do a blind buy it's definitely worth all the money it is expensive um but it's definitely worth it worth it baby trust me that's one of my faves. I can literally spray one. What I just did is way too much. I done had that bottle probably three years. It's worth the money, baby. I think it was like $350. I don't know. It was over $300, but I done had it for three years. And like I said, I just did too much. No, I spray one spray and that be it. But anyway, yeah, this the look, y'all. So let me go. It's seven o'clock. I already told her I was going to be late. I got on um, Mac Ruby Woo a hat. Yeah, so, all right. Okay, e gang, I'm headed to the, um, I hope y'all can see me. I don't have the light on, I'm sorry. I'm headed to the party. Y'all, I am tired. I feel like I've been having event after event and I still have dinner with Nisi tomorrow, but we're gonna make it happen. And then, somebody just invited me out Friday too. But after this, I'm chilling. Like, uh oh, I'm chilling. Like, I might take my kids on like a vacation, but I'm chilling because I'm buying a house, y'all. Like, I need to be saving. I'm buying a house, so yeah. And people, I'm sure people will understand that. But yeah, I'm chilling after this for a while. You know, besides little stuff, like I'm not gonna do just a dry month where I don't spend nothing, but just little stuff. But anyway, I'm heading here. And I'll probably close this vlog out tonight once I leave the restaurant. Cause I feel like this vlog been going for a few days. And I need to pay attention to the road, y'all. So yeah, I'll see y'all at the um lounge slash restaurant. <laughs> like I was just reflecting and I was just thinking I've been thinking a lot lately and some things just like really been bothering me and y'all know I'm pretty honest with y'all I don't want to talk about it because I don't know if other parents deal with this but sometimes I feel like I failed as a mother especially with my older two in particular um if you're new to the channel I have four kids biologically I have two adult children 21 and 18 and I have two boys. My two older are girls and my two boys are, my two younger are boys. Um, that's how much on my mind, y'all. And um, while I talk to y'all, I'm gonna be cleaning my face. So yeah, um, I just feel like that I have failed as a mom. Um, I, had, I got pregnant with my first daughter at 15. I'm not ashamed, you know, that is my story, that is my truth. So, you know, parenting, um, didn't come with a handbook. Of course, I was 15, I was a ch I was a baby. A baby having a baby. And um, some of the choices that my adult children are making in their life right now, I feel that um, it's indicative of some of the things that I 
allow them to see as a parent or of course as a parent you feel like naturally the way your child comes out um has a lot to do with you and sometimes you know it does um sometimes children they stray away um they come back but if you taught them what they stray away they come back but um naturally as a parent you blame yourself um and y'all know i talk openly about um y'all know i talk openly about me being in a um abusive relationship my oldest two um you know they were privy to it they actually saw things my kids have actually seen me draw across the floor by my hair but naked and i remember talking with them one day and i asked them um do y'all like just when i finally left um the relationship i talked to my kids and when they told me some of the stuff like you be thinking your kids don't know but they know and when I talk to them and they tell me stuff like, oh yeah, I remember when this happened or I remember this or that, like you're just like, oh my God. Like even the choices um, in men that my kids have made in men and women, you know, my daughter, um, I don't know. I don't even know if to say whether she's less, which I don't care. I don't care about her sexuality, but she's dated men and women. So I don't know. I think she's just finding her way, but that's not here. Not there. That's not a, I don't care about that. Um, just even her choices in women and men. Um, my other daughter, her choices in men. And it's like, I blame her. Even where they're at in their life right now. Um, as parents, you know, we want more for our kids. Um, my oldest, I made sure I put her in the top. My daughter went to one of the top five schools in the state. Um, she went to Stanton College Preparatory School. I made sure she went there. Um, I made sure she went to FAMU. I bought her. I gave her everything she wanted. And that may be the problem. My kids, I always gave them everything they wanted. And that might be an issue in itself. Um, and you know, y'all do know, um, my daughter ended up dropping out of college. Um, and you know, it, it, it hurt me. It, it, it hurt me. Um, it, it, it hurt, it hurt my heart. You know, my sister, she very, she, um, my sister, my, a lot of my family is an alumni. A lot of my family. I wanted to go. But uh, I couldn't because I had my daughter. Uh, I went to college, but I couldn't go to fam. So, um, you know, that was one of the things that my sister really wanted for her. I really wanted for her. My daughter was in school to be a doctor. And she let a young man she was dating at the time persuade her to drop out of school. And I tried to tell her, like, anybody who really care about you, you know, he wasn't in college. He should have came you know, down there with you or tough it out or y'all just talk on the phone every day, but he made her feel bad about being in school. And, you know, and I just hate that she let a man have that much control over her life and her decisions. Um, my other daughter, she's made a lot of bad decisions. Um, a lot of bad decisions, a lot. Um, and she's not going to college. And I know college is not for everybody, but you know, I wanted that for her college or the military and right now it's just not an option and just some of the things i think that they're struggling with self-esteem issue that's not something about even though i came from a two-parent home i came from um we lived we were not rich but we weren't poor um i i, I came from a very good home and not to brag but you know i was more fortunate than others we had a pool we well, i was just more fortunate um, I came from a structured home and I always tried to give my kids the same thing. I was with my ex for years, 15 years. So they always had a dad in the home and even my oldest called him dad. Um, but it don't make no difference if it's not an environment conducive to them being, um, you know, outstanding adults and I, I, I don't know y'all, I've been staying up all night and I've been, I, I cry and I, I kind of been depressed and I, I you know, I, I want to talk to them, but I have talked to them about it over and over. And I know I can't make the decisions for them and I can't live my day life for them, but I'm, I'm kind of at a point now where I'm blaming myself. Um, like I was saying, my mom didn't teach me about self-esteem. So I had low self-esteem, hence all the stuff that I accepted. Um, I accept being controlled. I accept letting it be his way or no way i accepted abuse and unfortunately my kids saw that abuse 
So we don't really know the choices or the outcomes that we have allowed our children to see here, um, how it affects them as adults. Um, I've, both of my kids, I've had them in counseling. I've been to counseling. Uh, I am trying to get my oldest daughter in, back in counseling right now. They're still insured. Um, so I'm trying to get them back in counseling. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just really not happy with the choices that they're making right now with their life. I would like to see them do better. Um, I would like to strive. With, I would like them to like leave dead relationships and, you know, not be afraid to walk away and stand and be on your own, um, to not be controlled, um, to prosper. None of my, I don't have any, my grandchildren, my granddaughter is not for my kids. My kids don't have any children. And I tell them all the time, this is an advantage. You don't have any children. There's nothing holding you back. Not that a child holds you back, but if in our reality, like me, I wanted to go to FAMU, but I had a daughter, which was a decision that I made. So I had to stay and watch my daughter. However, um, I try to tell them all the time, like there's no, your future is like, it's at your fingertips, you know, um, especially in the day and age that we live in now. Like I tell my others, okay, if you're not, if you don't want to go to college, that's fine. What about being an entrepreneur? I went to college and I'm an entrepreneur and I figured out that entrepreneurship was better for me than what I went to college for. So that's fine. You don't have to go to college, but babe, I want you to do something. I want you to do something. And, um, it's very disheartening. This isn't the life that I would have chosen for my kids. I'm not just saying they're bums. They're just not living to the full capacity that they could, that they have been taught. And I'm really trying not to cry. I know I'm a cry baby. Um, that I wanted for them. And um, it, it, it's very disappointing. I blame myself because um, my oldest two, they saw a lot of shit that they shouldn't have. And they heard a lot of stuff that they shouldn't have. And um, I can't say, I don't know the effect on them that it's having. Um, my oldest daughter, she got daddy issues. My oldest daughter, my ex-husband is not her father. And um, she definitely deal with daddy issues. Um, she got her daddy, but um, he wasn't the best. He ain't the worst, but he ain't the best. Um, and you know, we don't know, like what my oldest daughter, um, I don't know y'all, you know, Nobody gets pregnant thinking that, I mean, nobody with good sense gets pregnant from a bum thinking that they're gonna be like, you know, you don't intentionally get pregnant for somebody that you think gonna leave your kids and just not have nothing to do with them. You know, you just never know how people gonna turn out. Even a man, even, and vice versa, you never know how your baby mama gonna turn out. Um, so, um, but in spite of, I still try to provide and give them everything they need. I overcompensated. Um, my kids are very spoiled, very spoiled. Um, not to brag, but I overcompensated. Um, you know, my, my my daughter got a MacBook before I do, before I did. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have a MacBook, but I made sure my daughter had one to go to college. Um, I've given her two cars, and right now she needs another car. And as bad as I want to give it to her, I want her to learn the response, responsibility, the value of a dollar, and work ethic because like I try to tell them I had two kids at their age I had two kids but I had my own place I had my own money I paid my own car note and like I tell them y'all don't have any kids you have nothing holding you back and I just want the best for them um I'm trying to teach them tough love right now and it might be too late but the tough love I feel like it's hurting me more than it's hurting them I don't want to just hand it to them no more I, both of them have had I've given both of them a car um, my oldest daughter, she's had two cars because she, um, if you've been following her for a while, she got in a really bad accident. Um, she had to learn how, relearn how to walk again. It was in the middle of COVID and she had, I couldn't go in the hospital with her. It was just a mess. She was in the hospital, I think like two months in between the hospital and rehab. Um, but so I gave her two cars and now, you know, um, I have the means to, but I don't want to because, um, I want to, but I don't want to because you're not, you're not, I'm not teaching you any responsibility. I'm not teaching you to get out of here. Even though I, I try to teach them and they see me, I'm a hustler. No one thing about me, nobody ever had to tell me to get out of work. Nobody ever had to tell me to do better with my life. Nobody ever had to tell me to spend time with my kids. 
Um, that's just something that came natural to me. Like, it always came natural to me. I always try to do the best I can. Um, and with my, it's, it's trial and error with my younger two. I am a lot different because I'm older. I'm 37 now. So, I, I know, like, hey, don't argue and fight in front of your kids. Or, like, I know certain things that I know now, I, I didn't know when I had them. I was a baby. I was a baby having a baby. So, I'm a lot different now. And I'm sure they see the difference. Um, of between when they were growing up versus their brothers, but it's because I'm older and I'm wiser. So, um, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to be honest with y'all. That's something that I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with. I'm sure I'm not the only parent. Um, I want to get us back in counseling. Um, I know I can't choose their life for them and I really don't care what they do as long as you do something. I just want them to be successful. I want the best for them. Um, and yeah, it's kind of, it's something that's kind of bothering me. So... One thing about the e game, baby, they pick y'all pick up on stuff. Y'all pick up on stuff easy, and it ain't just you know me. Of course, I'm stressed out about Kaden. That in itself is enough to like drive you crazy. But um, my daughters, I, I I just want them to live to the their full capacity. Um, I want my daughter to get back in school. Um, I want them to leave daddy in relationships. I just want the best for them. Um, they beautiful girls. They um. They, I know they got it in them. They, 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 my, they my kids. They came out of me. I know they got it in them. I know they got the drive and I know they got the hustle because they my kids. Um, I wish I would have, um, I'm trying to teach them now, but I wish I would have taught them earlier about self-esteem. But truth be told, I just learned how to have self-esteem in my 30s. So um, that's something that I suffered with. And as a result, I put up with things that I shouldn't have. And... I see them making the same mistakes and I wish that's something that I would have taught them in the womb um, to have, you know, a, a, a certain regard for yourself, what not to put up with, um, what not to accept and, um, you know, just have high self-esteem. That's something my mom didn't teach me. I had, a, I had a great mom. I had the best mom in the world to me, but that's just something she never taught me. Um, my mom never taught me how to save money. I had to learn it on my own. Um, and I try to teach my kids now that I'm older. When I first had them, I made a lot of financial mistakes. But now that I'm older, I try to teach them like, hey, you need to save. Um, you need to do this. You, need, you know. So yeah, y'all. Um, if you see me looking stressed, y'all, it, it um, it's a lot. But um, I'm riding with them. I ain't giving up on them. I'm riding with them. I'm hanging in there with them. I'm gonna always be mama. I'm gonna always be here. Um, they need to come home, which they have. You know, um, I'm I, I'm here, but you know I am in a, I am like in a position now where I'm trying to teach them tough love, and um, like I say, the tough love is hurting me more than it's hurting them. And if you're a mom that's been through this, then you know. Um, and I do feel like I failed. Sometimes I do. I I, I feel I blame myself. Um, but. One thing about life, as long as we wake up every day, then we got a chance, we open our eyes and we wake up, we have breath, it's another day to get it right. And I will continue to fight with my kids and not fight with them, but like fight this battle of life. Cause we all fighting this thing called life. We all are, we all trying to figure it out. We all trying to make our way and keep pouring and pouring into them and like letting them know like hey you could do better and yeah mommy is being hard on you right now and mama might get on your nerve and mama might seem like she would woo, woo, woo. but one thing i realized as i got older everything my mama ever told me god damn it that lady was right from friends to men to life to everything my mama ever tried to tell me she was right and i just want my kids to realize that um and i just want them to do better i want them to do better so y'all continue to pray for me, with me. I'll pray for any parent out there going through the same thing. I'll pray for y'all. Um, It's hard. It, 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 being a parent is hard. It's hard. It's not easy. It, it's not easy. Um, There's no manual. It's trial and error. We do the best. We do the best we can. Um, Could I have done better? Yes. It's a lot of things I could have done better. I could have. Um... And I'm doing better with my youngest, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I just want the best for all my kids, all of them. I just want the best for them. So, and I know they'll get back on track. Um, it's, it's a phase. It's a phase. They, they, they very strong. Um, 
one of my daughters, she remind me so much of me. She got so much, go get a, so much mm, about her, baby. She don't wait for nobody. Baby, she don't wait for nobody. She just, mm, mm. hey, and that's just so me. And I am grateful that right now they don't have children. Um, I am grateful for that, baby. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's one thing I am grateful for. They don't have any kids. So thank God for that. Um, of course, I want to be, you know, you know, one day. But right now, I just would like for them to get their life together. Um, I would like for my oldest daughter to get back in school. My my youngest daughter, I was told, let's do the military, something, something. Some, let's do something, something productive. Let's do it. Um, she's thinking about truck driving. I was telling her about um, you love India. If y'all know, y'all be here, y'all know about India. She's a truck driver. And um, I showed her India's page and I said, well, maybe I'll get, and I know India will. She's just so sweet. Get her to talk to her. Um, yeah, just do so. Whatever you do, I support. Whatever you want to do, I support you as long as you're doing something. But anyway, y'all, I'm not going to keep rambling. I just wanted to come in in the vlog and share what been on my heart. Um, yeah, that's just what it is. All right, you gang. Love y'all. Bye. I just break out.